Hey everyone, Happy Lunar New Year! I had a few requests that I want to fulfill, one being how to use red eyeshadow. Definitely a challenge. I had to really kind of think about what kind of look I wanted to do with it, and as far as using such a vibrant red goes, hey look, kind of matches my nails, um, I'm definitely bigger on using it in a defining type of way. Notice how it kind of has like a sharp edge here, and it's just more of an accent rather than a red all over the eye. And so that's how I prefer to use my red. It's edgy, it's fun, it's kind of daring, but at the same time still wearable. And another request that I want to fill was, you know, some of you guys are asking if I could do a look more suitable for monolids. This look is definitely very flattering for monolids and it would work on all different kinds of eye shapes. Coming closer so you can get a better look. But basically I wanted to do these two kind of flicks here to kind of like signify bunny ears since it's the year of the rabbit. So I definitely think it's a very fun look to do. Um, I hope you all enjoy it and once again happy Lunar New Year. So let's get started with the eye makeup. I'm going to first apply Urban Decay Primer Potion to my lid and underneath the lower lash line. And this is just going to help prolong my eye makeup wear. Now I'm going to go into this Wet n Wild Lust palette, one of their color icon palettes, and I am going to, with a kind of like smaller eyeshadow brush, go into this blackish shade right here, and it has little red flecks in it. It's a really pretty color, and it's supposed to be comparable to Max Beauty Marked, if you have that shadow. And then I'm just going to apply this all over the lid. And for those of you who do have monolids, you want to apply this high enough so that when you open your eyes, you can it act, it's actually peeking through. So I'm just going to apply mine a little bit higher. And then with the tip of the brush, I'm just going to flick this a little bit outwards like this, just to get a general shape. And then just sort of go back inwards a little. Now you can go with an angled brush or something that will help define this area. I'm just going to go in with this smudge brush. Just going to go back into that same shade and go back out here and define this even more. And just blend it inwards. So this is the kind of shape you want. You want it curved and then a little bit sloped downwards and then back up. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this really just true red color. This is Ben Eyes. Powder Rouge and Soleil Red. And I'm going to take the Sonia Kashuk Angled Brush. Just going to lightly dip it in. And this is going to accent just above the black. So I'm just going to kind of angle it right above the black flick right here. And then just blend it inwards. And then I'm going to go inwards to even just help soften up the black edges here. Okay, just like so. It should look very neat, very clean. If you don't have monolids, what you could do instead of bringing it so high is kind of give like a smudge liner look and then do the red accent instead of going up this high. Or you can just make sure that it stays beneath your crease instead of going over like how I have here. And for some of you, you might not like this harsh edge right here, so I'm going to blend it out. I'm actually going to take this shade right here, and this is from a NYX Champagne and Caviar palette. And just using my e.l.f. blending brush, I'm just going to soften up this inner edge. So using that short shader brush from earlier, I'm going to add another kind of like flick right below. And it's going to actually represent like the bunny ears. It just makes the look more interesting and fun. And I'm also just going to smudge this into my lower lash line on just kind of like the outer third. Then I'm going to take a touch of that red and just accent right beneath it. Now I'm going to apply this Herb Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil on the upper lash line just to give the eye more definition. You can use any black coal pencil, anything that would be easy to smudge out. You could also use a gel liner. 
If you do have monolids, go ahead and apply that eyeliner pretty high upwards, just kind of going in the same shape that we have here. And if you don't, just smudge out the liner like I'm doing right here. I'm going to curl my lashes before I clean up the bottom part because sometimes curling the lashes, you can get fallout from the shadows and stuff too. So I'm just going to curl them real quick. Then I'm going to take a Q-tip and just clean up any of these areas right here where the dark shadow usually will fall into and you want to just clean that up as well as you can. You can dust away any fallout. To brighten and clean the area up, I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer. I'm just using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Double Face Perfector. Just pat that in. This next part is also optional and you can also use a gold if you prefer, but I'm going to use this like greenish golden color instead and it's a Milani shadow in antique gold. And I'm just going to take this smudge brush from Studio Tools that you can find at Target for real cheap. And I'm just going to smudge this right underneath my lower lash line. Pretty much in the center. Now I'm going to take this Rimmel white pencil and just apply this into the inner corner. Just bringing it up a little bit here. I'm also going to apply some white right in between the two ears, we'll call it. And with a clean finger, you can just kind of smooth this out. And then going into that next palette from before, I'm going to take this like really just stark white shadow. And this is just going to brighten and clean the entire look up. So I'm going to go over where I just applied the cold pencil. And then if you want to set that line too, you might want to go with a thinner angled brush like this one. I like to go back and just try to Redefine everything. I'm going to go into this off-white color right here from that palette. Just tap off any excess and then starting from right beneath the brow. And then just lightly blend it downwards. And then just apply your mascara and you're good to go. So here's the completed look and you know if you're really not comfortable with that red you could swap it out for another color and just have fun with it. Um, just to show you what I have on the rest of my face, I kept it very minimal. I have Revlon Color Stay Smooth Nude Lipstick on, just a very sheer wash of that. And then just a touch of gloss right on top, Revlon Super Lustrous Gloss in Coral Reef. And then I contoured my cheekbones and just kind of around my face slightly the nose using NYX's blush and taupe and lastly I just added a touch of highlight right here on the high points of my face like my cheekbone here and then I also extended it up around this area and underneath the brow bone and I used MAC's soft and gentle mineralized skin finish so that is the completed look I hope you all enjoyed it stay tuned for more videos y'all have a great one bye